Now let's check back in with David McCoy. He's been in the nation's capital covering Gopher basketball at the Big Ten tourney. Tomorrow night, the Gophers will learn their seed, destination, and opponent for the NCAA tournament. Their resume is a good one, but as Coach Richard Patino acknowledged, there is a very big question mark around this team right now, needing to figure out how to win without starting guard Akeem Springs out for the rest of the year with a torn Achilles. As for Richard Patino's opinion on what seed they should get, um, I don't know. You know, I'm I'm just excited that we're we're in it. You know, I'm I'm, I'm fired up. Um, as disappointing as it is, you know, for Akeem to go down to see a guy that's so important to us, you know, for his career to end was emotional for everybody, and then to come back and uh, you know, guys had to play a lot of minutes. I want these guys when they get on the plane to to flush all that, close the book, you know, Big Ten tournament and get excited about the NCAA tournament. So wherever they put us, whoever we play, wherever we play. We're going to be really, really excited, and we're going to be proud of what we've accomplished this year and excited about moving forward. Moving forward without Springs will present challenges. Moving to Pre McBrayer into the starting lineup basically leaves the Gophers without a reliable guard to come off the bench. A huge adjustment. Keem was a key part of our rotation, obviously. He was a starter, Keem captain, so brought a lot to the table. But um, a lot of guys played a lot of minutes tonight. Uh, me today, well, uh, Pre and Pre and Amir, I think, played. 35 plus minutes, so uh, we got to figure out some type of rotation, of course, and uh, got to figure out how to replace his injuries, three point shooting, and all that. Guys just have to step up and in different roles and be more versatile with what with what we run. It's very important. Um, we got to get a whole new offense um, and just try to just try to get used to it within this next week. Make you nervous? Is it no, no, no. At all, knowing that you got to make such a big adjustment. No, not at all. Um, we got the talent. We got the we got the players and got the, um, the versatility to do so. So we're going to practice this this weekend, get better, we'll be, we'll be fine. We're extremely confident. Uh, earlier in the year when we went on the five-game losing streak, we didn't lose our confidence then either, and we made a gr eight-game uh, run. So losing one game this time of year doesn't really uh, affect us. It, it'll, it'll help us because we'll know what to share up for the next game, but we're not going to lose confidence. We're going to be good going forward. If the Gophers can draw confidence from one thing, it's perhaps that after falling behind by 16, they did outscore Michigan the rest of the way, indicating that perhaps in those 30 minutes without him, they learned to live without him.